Right, so first of all, we just need to open up the sound desk when you arrive at church. Uh, so it's got handles to open it, but just be careful. The lid is quite heavy, and the entire desk is rather back heavy. So as you lift it, just support the weight of the lid so that it doesn't pull the sound desk over. So we'll open up this side. And then... All right, so now this is how you should find the sound desk when you arrive. This is just a brace to support the lid when it's closed, so we can move that out of the way for the time being. Just please remember to put it back here where it says wooden brace when you close the lid, otherwise the lid will cave in. Okay, now we just need to turn on the two plug points for the two different speakers. So in the corner by the grand piano, we're just going to turn on this plug points. And you can see there's a cable that goes in that is white, blue and white. So where that cable goes in, we're going to turn on that plug point. Now we're going to head over to the other corner of the church. And there is this plug point directly below the speaker, and we're going to turn that plug point on as well. So now the two speakers should be on. There's the little light showing that the speaker's on. Now we're going to head to the pulpit laptop. Okay, so this laptop, when you open it up, um, just hit the space bar or something so that we can get to the code. Then the code is also 1517 to log in. So we're going to open up Google Chrome. We're going to open up the PowerPoint for the Sunday morning. So in a new tab, we're going to click on Google Drive, which is another bookmark at the top left. And then in the search box, we're going to search for the dates that we are looking up. So 2022-09-04, that was our last Sunday service. And you can see here we've got a slideshow that's got that date and it says morning service. So I'm going to use this one. You'll use whatever date you're doing this on, probably the 18th. Okay, double click that to open it. Okay, now the slideshow is open and we need to get it onto the projector. So somewhere around about the um, pulpits, you should find the remote for the projector. So I'm just going to... It's yeah, sometimes underneath the pulpit. I'm just going to click the red power on button, make sure that the blue light appears on the projector so that you know it's on. It'll take a little while to warm up and turn itself on, but that's all right. Okay, the projector's now on behind me. It starts off very faint while the bulb warms up, so don't worry about that. Um, on this presentation, you're going to look at the top right where it says slideshow. You're going to hit that drop down arrow, and you're going to hit presenter view. That's now going to open two things. It's opened the slideshow in the background, but it's also opened this um, speaker notes panel. So, first, the slideshow we're going to drag onto the projector. So, the way you do that is you click in the toolbar at the top. So you click it down, and then we're going to drag it, and you drag it off the screen, across the edge, and onto the screen behind. Okay, now on the screen behind, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the video, so I'll explain this in detail. In um, the bottom left-hand corner, um, as you move your cursor to that bottom left-hand corner, there'll be um, a little capsule, a white capsule box that will appear, um, and it'll only appear as you hover your mouse over it in the bottom left-hand corner. And there'll be three dots that you can click on, and then you say enter full screen, which will be an option there. Okay, now the slideshow is in full screen on the projector. We're going to come back to the laptop screen, and this is our speaker notes box. We're going to make this full screen, and we are going to... Um, there's actually, even though it's very faint, there's a little bar running down the side here that you can hover over, and then you can click and drag it to make this um, sidebar bigger, and it'll fill up half the screen. 